Hey guys, what is up? Will here, and today I will be showing you how to make a lobby for your story game. So, let's get into this. First things first, what you are going to want to do is open up Toolbox, go into Inventory, and you're going to want to open this. It's called YT Tutorial Story Lobby. And as you can see here, it's just this long line of stuff, but it's ungroup me. So let's do what it says. We're going to ungroup this part. Then here, replicated storage. We need to bring this into replicated storage and then ungroup it there. We're going to bring this into starter character script, which is inside of starter player. And then we're going to ungroup. And then we're going to do the same in starter GUI here. Bring it into starter GUI. Ungroup. And finally, it's workspace, so we can just click ungroup. So now I will just explain what everything here does. So, base plate, we all know what the base plate does. Player countdown, the players here, where it has this zero here, each time a player walks into this little display here that you can only see from that side, it will go up by one. And Basically, in here, there's a leave button. Basically, what happens there is if you press leave, it will teleport you to this leave room part here. You can move this around as well if you want. And then the time, it will count down from 30, and then it will teleport anybody that is that has touched that and hasn't pressed the leave button yet to your game of choice. And then this ready part here, when it's teleporting, it will just go red. And yeah, it will basically say that it's not ready. Then here, there's a second part here. So in your vehicle or wherever you're teleporting them to, they can see it as well. So they actually have the countdown. And then what we're going to want to do now, though, before I explain any more, is we're just going to want to grab a part and we're gonna want to put it like about here so it's like in almost in line with this but slightly behind and we're just gonna scale it up like that and you can have it thick or thin it doesn't really matter i'm just gonna have it kind of thin and then you're going to want to stretch it all the way out to however big your lobby is. Any decoration or what you want to do, you can do that. This is a scripting tutorial mainly. I'm not a builder. I, I, I won't be showing you how to build anything. So yeah, this is going to be your wall. You just want to come here, take off the shadow. Then to transparency, set that to 1. Then come down and anchored yes. That basically makes it so people won't be able to walk through here. And that would mean people can't get, get teleport. And that would mean you can't get onto the vehicle without it, basically. One other option you could do is, I guess you could um keep the... this barrier part here off but um what you would have to do is either make a vehicle with like walls that you can't get into or uh give it invisible barriers but i recommend having the invisible wall here then um basically this transition event it will do a little black transition on um your screen like a blinking transition sort of thing whenever you um, get teleported. And then yeah, this is the script for leave button, this is the script for transition. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna bring in a vehicle I made. You can either make one, or I will leave a description to this in the comment section down below. But if you are making an actual game, please don't use this, because this is very ugly. I just wanted to make it quick so I can show you. So here. I've just named it vehicle 
Like, I, I guess it's an average camping thing, just like 10 times worse. So, yeah, we're just gonna bring this in line here. And then we're gonna need to make sure it is on the ground. Okay. So, yeah, I'll just show you what it does now. Actually, I forgot something, guys. What we're going to want to do is we're going to want to come to model, click on spawn, and just move it somewhere around here. If you want to make it invisible, just delete the decal here, and then on the spawn location, get rid of cast shadow and set the transparency to 1. But I'm going to make it so you guys can actually see it. So yeah, I recommend having the leave room part uh, slightly closer to this part than that than the spawn is but yeah also guys on my vehicle as you can see it's actually not got any walls one thing i wanted to do is give it some invisible walls so then the player can't get out also you can add a roof to it if you want i am giving it an invisible roof but you can if you want Then the next thing you guys are going to want to do is come over to view, click on game explorer. You're going to need to publish the game. This doesn't mean people can see it because you can publish it privately, which it does automatically. But if you want it to be public straight away, you can do that in game settings. So we're going to click publish, create new game. Uh, I'll just call it untitled game. Sure. And then it's successfully published. Now we have access to the game explorer. On places, as you can see, we have this part here. This is what we are in right now. What we're going to want to do is right click on this places folder, add a new place. And then, as you can see, it's got the name of the game. That's the one we're in right now. And then it has got the one we just added. So we're just going to copy ID to click. To clipboard and then in player countdown open touch gate script just hover over what's in these speech marks and then copy and paste that there no just paste it because we copied it okay so i'm just gonna save this game to roblox and then i'll test it out there to show you what it looks like Okay, so guys, what you're going to want to do now is once on once you've actually saved it, come on to create, click on the game. Then if you want to make it public, do it here. You can change the name here as well. Click back and it will take you to the game page. As you can see, it was updated 42 seconds ago. That sounds about right. Let's click play. Okay, so guys, as you can see, we're in the game. The countdown's here. So yeah, the seats will work. If you add seats, just make sure to make them all facing inwards or outwards. Don't make them all look one way, unless you make a bus or something. But if you're making a vehicle like this, then, you know. And then it does the transition event. And then it brings us here. As you can see, there's nothing here. This is a new place. I could have add some added something here if I wanted to, but I'm fine. However, one thing you can do is add a reverse transition into this part. I'll show you how to do that right now. Okay, so guys, what you're gonna want to do now to add the fade out that should work well with the fade in is in starter GUI, you're going to want to add a screen GUI and then inside of the screen GUI, add a frame. Inside of the frame, add a local script. 
and then with the frame you're just gonna want to resize it if you remember in my other tutorials I have taught you one thing that you need to remember come to size on X and Y set the offset to zero and then we can resize it we're just gonna set the border color to black how it is already background color set that to black as well and then we're gonna put the border size pixel to about a hundred I think it only needs to be like 20 or 50 but to be safe I do a hundred and that will get rid of the top bar of your screen and then here in the local script just copy and paste what is in the pin comments down below okay so here it is it basically gets it to wait five seconds and then do it and that's just for you to actually load in so you see it and then yeah it's like this whenever you go into the section to look at it just click on this ui with the eye and it gets rid of all guis so if you ever want to maybe add a gui into it all you need to do is just click on frame here and then you need to come down and find visible and turn that to off and then turn it back on once you're done so yeah if you want to name it just so you remember what it is just name this fade out and yeah also i just deleted that by accident okay there we go and also rename this to fade out so yeah guys if you enjoyed this tutorial or found it helpful in any way then please leave a like and maybe consider subscribing but before i end off this video just so you know it works here it is okay so yeah the top bar was like a different shade there i just need to fix that but it did work so let me just check that out here all the color yeah okay now let's do it but yeah now it's fully a uh, black transition like it's a long blink or like you've just woken up or something like that so yeah if you enjoyed this video or found it helpful in any way then please leave a like and if you're new here or haven't already then maybe consider subscribing but until next time goodbye guys yeah.